For centuries, milk has helped build strong and healthy bones. Now, the lids that keep it fresh are playing a fundamental role in the development of 3D printed prosthetics. The question on the minds of many is whether a prosthesis made from a cheap plastic can provide the same functional ability as one developed from a qualified professional. With over 25 years' experience, Lin Weir has been at the forefront as the development of prosthetic limbs has evolved. After a stint at Melbourne's Alfred Hospital, Weir, along with partner Noel Mitchell, now own and operate Northern Victorian Orthotic Prosthetic Service in Shepparton and Wangaratta. Well, my partner and I are orthodist prosthetists. We, um, may, uh, we assess people for body braces, which is orthotics, and for prostheses. Then we design and make and then fit the orthosis or prosthesis. NVOPS has embraced the technological advances the industry has seen over the past decade. Until recently, plaster moulds of an amputee had to be taken in order to develop a prosthetic limb that would fit comfortably. That process has since been scrapped as NVOPS now scan the limb in order to achieve a precise fit and optimal comfort for its clients. Weir is concerned that prosthetics developed in alternate ways may not provide the same level of support. It's a bit offensive to think that you can print something in your garage that will provide the level of function that, that we've had years of training to be able to do. And I mean, I've been a prosthetist for a long time, but I would say I'm certainly not an upper limb, an upper limb prosthetic expert. It's a highly specialised area to actually get true function. However, Dr Robert Ross of La Trobe University is confident that with the help of industry professionals, a 3D printer can produce an effective prosthesis for an amputee. It really depends on who designs it. So if a person that had 25 years experience was the person that actually designed the 3D printed prosthetic, absolutely, and you can get something to the form and fit and requirements uh, that you need. Designing something very specific to meet a specific need um, it's a field that 3D printing adapts really, really well for. A major advantage of 3D printing plastics is that it is a cheap alternative to that of a professionally made prosthetic limb, as they can be upward of tens of thousands of dollars. However, Weir says that there is no need to go cheap, as amputees can access a prosthesis for free in Australia. There's a talk in the media that they're, they're free, so they're providing for free that's altruistic. That's lovely, but prostheses are actually provided uh, free in Australia. Anyone who um, needs a prosthesis will be provided a prosthesis free. Um, so to say that kids are not able to access those things is not, it, it is not true. 3D printing has had a major impact across a variety of industries in recent years and it may well be a matter of time before it replaces traditional methods of manufacturing within the health industry. Whether it can achieve the same level of function for an amputee, however, remains to be seen. Joe Wilkie reporting for Upstart.